Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first session on Tableau with me, Abhijit Begum, on Tech Tablet. Now, today's session is going to be all about the introduction to Tableau. If you do not know anything about it, I'll be giving you a brief introduction to it. My name is Abhijit Begum. I'm a technical trainer. I give trainings on R, Python, and Tableau. So, R and Python for data science specifically. The agenda is really simple. I'm going to talk to you about the introduction. What is Tableau and you know how does it work? What are the different products or types and everything involved in Tableau? What are its disadvantages and advantages and what are the applications? So, okay, Tableau was first introduced in 2003 and it was an American interactive data visualization software company by these people, Christian Shabbat, Pat Handrahan and Crystal. And this was in California. So it is a business intelligence tool you know, it helps to visualize the data or, you know, presenting the data in the form of dashboards and worksheets. So if you're somebody working in the, you know, sales, so you can understand this better because, you know, you have your KPI dashboards and all. So all those you can create using Tableau. It's the most powerful and also the fastest growing data visualization tool. So you will not only create these dashboards and worksheets, you will also create several stories using Tableau. So you can just, uh, you know, include your dashboards and worksheets all together and you want to prepare a presentation or a report. So Tableau will definitely come in handy. And the best features is that, you know, you can blend your data in Tableau. You can do a real time analysis and also collaboration of your data using Tableau, about which, you know, working off Tableau and all will be definitely going through in our further sessions. Now, why are we even using Tableau? So it's definitely fast and easy to use. Now, why do I say that? When you are creating your worksheets or, uh, you know, these dashboards and all, you don't have, you don't require any knowledge on coding. This W, it uses the technology of just drag and drop. So that is the best part. Now you can create interactive and compelling dashboards. So it's not just looking at the dashboards, but suppose if you want to look at the data of a particular month. So you can definitely, you select that using your dashboards, right? So the same thing, you can create those interactive dashboards using Tableau. You can have access to multiple database. And when I say multiple database, it includes SQL, it includes Hadoop. It is, you know, uh, compatible with all of these and Excel. And you can also use all the data that you have, you know, even if it is from the server or even if it is you know, on your system. Now, what is Gartner? Gartner is basically a company, you know, which qualifies different softwares. And Gartner has qualified Tableau as the best BI tool. Okay, so that is one reason why you should be using Tableau. Or give it a try. Now, like everything, Tableau also has its own pros and cons. So now, first, let's talk about the pros, the advantages. It has perfect graphic and visualization capabilities. It can be fully integrated with you know uh, support for R and Python. So you are creating your you know your data science project or you're working on your data science project using R and Python and you want to visualize it. So what do you do? You can use Tableau for that. So definitely you can use R and Python for the visualization, but then using Tableau, you can create better compelling visualizations. So that is a plus point here. It is really, Tableau is really compatible with robust platforms like Azure, AWS. So these are all cloud computing platforms, right? So it is compatible with all, with all of them. You can connect to any data repository starting from MS Excel to Hadoop cluster, like I told you before. It has 100 GB of data storage and then definitely gets updated. Now, what are the disadvantages? So license cost of acquisition is quite high comparatively. We will talk about this point in you know in our next i mean in the same session or but you know we'll be talking about the different w products and the license cost and all varies based upon the product that you are using and like every other tool when you are trying to learn w there are basic knowledge uh, you know basic knowledge of certain things that you require like you should have knowledge on data on sql so yeah there is some functionalities that require a technical expertise on SQL. So that is the reason you need to, just like everything, whenever you're trying to learn anything, you would definitely go through some basic points, right? So that is what you need to do. Not really a disadvantage, not really a disadvantage, but then, you know, you need to just learn that. Now, what are the applications? Tableau 
now i'm sure you must have understood we are creating dashboards visualizations worksheets all this are the all these are the applications of tableau but now what are different companies using it for so these are some examples and you can find more on tableau's website directly so dubai airport they are using tableau to identify new revenue streams and also maintaining a clockwork op operation that's one thing and then you have nyc health plus hospitals they are drawing you know they draw on data fluency to make life saving decisions during the new york city covid 19 surge so there is there are you know other companies who are tracking student wellness and preparedness during covid 19 to make sure education reaches right so several other applications are also there so you can just go through the w website now coming to w products so there is w prep w desktop w server w reader w online and w public we will talk about each of them in detail in our next session but before that what are the basic differences what why am i talking about these so if you remember i just told you about the first disadvantage here license cost of acquisition is quite high comparatively now what do i mean by that here we have w public and w reader which are free to use and all uh yeah w public and w reader these are free to use so you can directly download it from the w website and start using it now w desktop w server w online w prep they all required to be paid for so that is where the license cost will be quite high but then you know when you start working for it you'll definitely find it worth now w public what is the difference between them why are we paying for w desktop and why are we not paying for w public so this w desktop server online they all come as a package w public is something different so w public you will be creating all your dashboards and you know if you are a student or if you are a teacher you can definitely use w public to teach you can definitely use w public to learn and whatever visualizations or reports you create using w public they will be directly posted on w community you won't be able to download it on your system so that is one thing with w public or you know you cannot save it probably even if you download the visualization yes you can but then you cannot uh, save it it will be available for a public on the w community so that will not be a private thing so if you are what if you are working for a private firm you will require to save it right you cannot just post it on the community that is the reason we have to use w desktop here w desktop server online prep they all go you know hand in hand you will be creating your visualizations and you will be posting it uh, you know on a w server so that this gets uh, and then you also have w online which works on the cloud so that is how you will be uh, what do you say sharing your visualizations to the managers or your clients or whatsoever w prep is something this is a new product basically and it is for you know preparing before you you know you go for a final visualization before probably giving a final report w prep is used just to practice now w reader w reader is where you will be only be able to look at the visualization so if i share the visualization with you you will be reading the dashboard or the visualization or the report using w reader you cannot do anything much with that thank you very much for being with me throughout this session i hope you have learned and you are able to understand what is w and even before that let's just just uh, you know have a recap of what all we learned so we learned what is w we have understood advantages disadvantages we now know what are the different w products and we know its applications so i hope you are thorough with this so thank you very much for being with me throughout this session happy learning till the next session